Since we're still talking about the assumptions of OLS, I think it's now time to talk about a very worrisome topic. And that topic would be endogeneity. So endogeneity. Endogeneity. And I hate it. It can really destroy your entire design and your entire study. So what is endogeneity? Well, in general, we speak of endogenous variables when there is endogeneity. And variables can become endogenous because of several reasons. And one co very common reason is omitting an important variable. So let's take an example from one of the former videos. Um, imagine we want to explain the number of Nobel Prize winners per head by chocolate consumption per head. And the observations are countries in a given year. So our model becomes Nobel for the number of Nobel Prize winners per head is equal to alpha plus b to 1 times the chocolate consumption per head. So chocolate consumption and some error term. This is our model. And if you, would, if you would run a regression on that model, you get a significant B to 1 coefficient. And you would abstract that chocolate consumption has a positive effect on the number of Nobel Prize winners. Although the model sounds pretty funny, it's actually worthless because the explanatory variable, so the explanatory variable chocolate consumption is actually endogenous. So this is an so chocolate consumption is per hat is an endogenous variable in this model. And this is so because we have omitted a very important variable in our model, namely GDP per hat. Because wealthy co uh, countries tend to have a higher chocolate consumption rate per hat, and most importantly, they produce more Nobel Prize winners per hat. So the real model becomes novel. Novel is equal to alpha plus b to 1 times chocolate consumption. Chocolate consumption plus b to 2 times uh, GDP per head. GDP per head and some error term. And what would happen if you run a regression on that model is b to 1 would become insignificant while b to 2 would become highly significant. Therefore what we could do is we could eliminate chocolate consumption per head from our model and thus our correct model becomes novel is equal to alpha plus b to 1 times GDP per head plus some error term. And um, GDP is what we call an exogenous variable. So this is an exogenous variable. And we always want to have a model only with exogenous variables. We never want to have a model where there are, where there are uh, endogenous variables. So always try to avoid endogenous variables and always make sure that your model consists of exogenous variables. So let's explain it a bit more formally. Uh, let's do that in another color. Um, let's say we have a model and that model is y is equal to alpha plus b to 1 times x1 and some error term. Okay. So remember what the problem was. Well, we've omitted a variable that was correlated with y and x1. Okay, so that was, uh, that was the problem. Since we didn't include this variable explicitly in our model, where will it be? Um, it'll be in the error term. It will be right over here. And this is problematic because we assume that our explanatory variables are not correlated with our error term. So the problematic part is the correlation between x1 and the error term. Because the correlation, if x1 is uh, endogenous, is that the correlation is not equal to 0. And this shouldn't be. Um, 
And this is the most common form of endogeneity. So uh, the, 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 the for first foremost rule to uh, follow is that the explanatory variables must not be correlated with the error term. But how can we avoid such a trap? Well, first and foremost, just try to avoid omitting an important variable. Just put it into your regression. Um, but sometimes this might not be possible because either there is no data or you can simply not measure the variable. And the case of not having any further data is pretty straightforward. Well, it would be nice if every nation in the history of mankind would have had a statistical office that keeps exact figures on all sorts of topics. But th this just isn't the case. And uh, also, omitted variables that cannot simply not be that simply cannot be measured. Well, this is also pretty straightforward. Um, let's take an example. A very common example in labor economics is measuring the determinants of wages. So let's say, for example, you want to explain uh, wages, and you say, okay, we have wage is equal to alpha plus beta 1 and you include education for example and you put in beta 2 times experience also very important and so on and of course you include an error term but there's one very very important variable that is omitted from this model that you simply cannot measure and that would be ability and ability will be well where will, will it be pretty simple it will be in our error term so uh, ability will be in here and ability um, is uh, or will correlate with a lot of your explanatory variables so for example ability is correlated with education because people with higher ability uh, tend to have higher education so again the correlation is not equal to zero so education would be endogenous and as you see this is a really huge problem and the problem with endogenous variables is that if you don't if you, if you simply do not control for for ability in this example uh, our our estimates are no longer blue they are no longer best linear unbiased estimators okay so what can we do in such a case or such cases because this accounts or this is true for every um, um, uh, omitted variable bias. Um, well, if we simply cannot control for omitted variables because there's either no data or we cannot measure it, there luckily there are ways to get around this problem. And one very prominent way to do so is finding what we call instrumental variables. So instrumental variables and what we then do is we do two stage two stage least squares so finding instrumental variables and doing two stage least squares is a very prominent way of accounting for um, an omitted variable of course, we will cover this in a later video, but just keep in mind that not everything is lost if you cannot include an omitted variable directly. Okay, so um, this is it for the uh, omitted variable case, but there are also other forms of endogeneity, and we will talk about these in the, um, or th the other case in the next video.